Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As usually, I'm gonna show you the Forzaton and also the cars I've been using for the championships. So let's have a look here at the photo challenge. What do you need to do? Just make a picture with a Dravatar or a player and you will have the photo challenge. Then we have the Forzaton. Now let's have a look at the shop. We have that nice Porsche. Um, I will just buy it because I'm a Porsche fan. Here you have hats and karate, and then we have the Ford, the birdie design truck, the F-150. Not a bad car, by the way. If you don't have it, you should buy it or, well, just buy it. Now, let's have a look at the Forzaton. We need the amazing, cool Ford Capri RS3000. Then we need to drive 10 miles or 16 kilometers. We need to have... A total of nine stars and speed zones and we need to have eight great skill chains so let's have a look it has been a very long time since I actually um, made a design it's not something fancy or anything but I did want to make the car fancy for once so let's have a look at the speed zone Now, I can tell you one thing, normally I always tune the car like that it has to be very grippy handling and all that, but there are no snow tires on the car, um, because it's just a Fordaton, if you don't want to do it, you don't need to do it, but you can use this speed zone. Now, I'm not a fan of driving against the wall, but then again, it's winter, and you can just do this three times there you go and you will have that from the Forzaton now of course you can also do it in the normal way um, you don't need to do it like I just did uh, once again I'm not a fan of wall riding but it's easier to do so this is the one the Royal Terrace now that we need those great skill chains now, there's not a specific amount of um, points you need. Well, it doesn't say. But what you need to do or can do if you have enough, you can put the perk points on the car. For example, this one, if you hit something, then you still have, you don't lose your points. So basically, just have fun. Um, I just drive around here. I drift around here. I just always take the same route. I've been using that route for like two years now. I just go around. I hit everything. And that's basically it. Uh, you don't need to just... I just got it while I was doing it. Um, it just started to count the... The Forzaton great skill chain. So this is basically what I do. This is the route for if there are new people here. You just hit everything. You don't need to stay on the road. You just need to be careful with the traffic. Why am I doing this road? Because everything respawns back if you go far enough from it. So here you just go back. And there you go. Here you see everything comes back again. That's basically what you need to do till you get your great skill chain. Okay, let's have a look at the trial. As you can see, I didn't do it yet. I will do that later on this evening on my Twitch stream, also for Playground. So let's have a look what we need for the trial. I'll put... Uh, Steven events are on. I'm going to put these off. There you go. So we need heavy hitters. Well, I will go to there because there's no filter for that in the in the garage. So let's have a look what we can use. So here are a lot of options that you can actually use. Um, for the people, there is a welcome pack for the buyout truck. Um, it called welcome pack car. Now that is. DOP car apparently 
but it's not easy to handle. So what is good to use here in a trial? The trail cut, trail cat has always been a very good car to use. The 2012 Porsche Cayenne is also a very good car. Now, if you have car pass, the Rebel is also a very, very good car. Um, that's actually the car I always take the most in if it's cross country. Uh, then the Porsche. This one slides too much. Don't take a, um, a sedan. The Lamborghini Urus is also a very good one, but you need car pass. That's, this is, I do not recommend this one. The Ford F150 is also a good one. Don't use this one. Well, you can use it, but it is a little bit too slow on top speeds. Now, the car that I will take for this is either the Rebel or the Cayenne. But it depends on the people if you have car pass or not. Now, the car that you win from that is the Hummer H1. Then we have playgrounds. We need a B700 hot hatch. Now, what do I have in my hot hatches? So I'll go to the B and then hot hatch. There you go. So there are several cars that I can use. Um, this one is pretty far, uh, pretty fast. But last time I took this one, but you can basically, it's, it, Depends on what you like to drive to. I have three cars tuned for that. Uh, this one is also a very fast car. So basically you need to try it out a little bit. But I'm probably going to take here my 2012 Mini. Now what can we win from that? We win the Renault Clio. Then let's go to the next one. Here we need a Land Rover, an A-Class. It is cross-country, so let's have a look what we have. Let's go to the Land Rovers. Now, I have two cars tuned for that. I drove them both. Um, I don't have really a preference in either two cars. Uh, you can use this car or you can use this car. They basically come down to the same. I also won with that car, I also won with that car. I always test out the cars before I actually make the video and share my tunes. So you can choose one of these two cars. Um, don't really mind the statistics because it's not really right. Now the car that you can win from that is the Porsche Cayenne. Then let's go to the next championship. And this one, the Off-Road Buggies B700. This is very simple. Um, after, well, I, I can't remember when it was, but it was a, a while ago. There was a very annoying championship with the Buggies. Uh, it was very hard to win in a trial. So what did I do? I actually retuned a buggy and it came out to be an OP tune. But really OP. I, don't, I never say my tunes are good or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But this one is an OP tune on this buggy. You really need to try this out. It's so easy to win uh, this championship with that. Now, what can we win from that? We win the Alumicraft Forza Edition. Now, let's go to the Ice Rally. We need a B700 Modern Rally. So let's have a look, oh that's the wrong one, let's have a look at the B class and then we go to Modern Rally. Uh, here it is. So I basically always use this car, the 2005 Subaru Impreza. Now the 2004 is also a very good car, but I just keep with the 2005, especially for a championship like this. You don't need to drive very fast, uh, but this car does a trick. You can easily win with that car. What can we win from that? We win the Ford Racing Puma. Now that's for the championships. Um, I'll do the seasonals. Now here 
I got some sometimes a few questions. Monthly rivals, you just need to do it once a month. Then how can you um, get the online adventure? How can you qualify? It's very simple. You go to online adventure, go to ranked, and then you need to do 10 lobbies. If you do 10 lobbies, you're qualified. Then you only have to do it once a month. 10 lobbies is basically, let's say, around 3 hours. Okay, let's go to the stunts. So here, this one is, well, it's actually very easy. I'm always scared to say it because always, well, not always, but... Uh, it's dark here. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll do it. Of course, I'm taking my muzzler, but if you have the Ferrari, you can also take that one. But the muzzler has been doing it always great for so, so long since I have the game. So you don't need to change it. Now you need to watch out with the train. The muzzle is also pretty fast, so you need to drive on the right side of the ramp. So let's have a look. So if you drive here on the right side, you will miss the train. Well, you need to be a little bit more to the right side. If you are fast enough, you actually fly next to the train. So be careful um, that you don't fly into the middle unless you have enough speed. Then the next one here is very simple. You can just start from here. And just go full speed. Watch out for traffic. Too bad it's dark now, but that doesn't really matter. Well, you do see the lights of the car now. There you go. So you can see that was actually very simple to do. Then the next one is here. I'll just drive to it. I didn't even start far uh, because it's a really annoying um, corner. You can just drive. And here you can go full speed. There you go. That's basically it. It was a very actually a very uh, easy week again now here at 50 percent we win a ferrari f40c i always liked that car uh i drove it a lot and then also the bugatti devo to me bugattis don't steer in this game but that's my opinion so let's have a look at the complete new car of this week the land rover land rover villa no idea how to pronounce it. I'll just show it. That's easier. Of course, it's dark. Um, but it doesn't really matter. I hope you can see a little bit. I'll just drive where there's a little bit more light. So this here is the new car that we got. Uh, let's have a look inside the car. That looks fancy. Oh, it's a car for fancy people. There you go. So this is the car. Let's see what class it has. This is a B class car. So that's going to be interesting maybe for cross country championships. So I definitely have to check out and tune this car um, and to see what we can do with it. Maybe I'll tune it and use it later on on my Twitch stream. So everybody you are always welcome on my Twitch stream. Um, we do the festival playlist with the club members. It's very easy to win. So if you have problems winning the championships or you just want to have fun, 
you are always welcome. Every Thursday I stream the festival playlist um, at 9.30 CST. So put it in your agenda. Come by, have a drink, have a chat and have some fun. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you got all the cards you want.